What is going on you guys, it's Ninja here and today what I have for you guys is going to be a video talking about DLC for Revelations. Now as you guys can already tell by this video, it's going to be a little bit different. As you can see that is kind of like my setup, stuff like that. And also this camera quality just looks so nice and I just bought the G7X Canon PowerShot. Very nice camera so I'm thinking to myself maybe I want to start doing some vlogs, stuff like that. So this video is kind of just like a test to see how it looks, everything like that. Let me know if you guys want to see vlogs. I just purchased this very nice camera so if you guys want to see them, I'll definitely post those on my channel but today you guys we're going to be talking about the brand new DLC for Revelations that just came out just a couple hours ago and I just want to first mention that I'm sorry about being a little bit late on this upload I literally just got done with streaming around like five o'clock at night and I was like you know what I really want to make this video still on my channel and that is for the reason of me posting this video so further ado guys let's jump straight into the description all right you guys so the first thing that I want to mention is this DLC will be available on PlayStation 4 come September 6 so we're just less than two weeks away for this being available on PlayStation 4 and it's as far as for Xbox and also PC players, this will not be available till at least October 6th. Somewhere around those lines, you will see this DLC being released. But further ado, guys, let's jump straight into kind of the describing the map, stuff like that. So the first thing I want to mention is something that the head studio guy of Treyarch said. He said, without a doubt, this is the most epic season of DLC that we've ever created for the fans of multiplayer and zombies. At this point, it goes without saying that Zombies has been a true labor of love for the studio and I'm proud to say that this will be a defining and epic experience for the fans who have joined us over the last 8 years. Black Ops 3 Revelations is the final chapter in the origin zombie saga featuring Richtofen, Dempsey, Takio, and Nikolai who finally come face to face with the mystery Dr. Monty in the house. So obviously you guys, this looks very epic. If you haven't seen any of the trailers, anything like that as far as the zombies, multiplayer stuff, stuff like that, I will be linking that down in the description because definitely I think you guys should check out the zombies. It looks really exciting. So now I want to explain to you guys kind of the DLC maps that we will be getting. The first DLC map is called Citadel. I hope I'm pronouncing that right, but this map looks pretty cool. Kind of takes place in like a medieval time, stuff like that. So I want to read you guys a quick little description of it. Once home to a powerful medieval army, this ancient castle now sits broken and abandoned. Tight corners force close quarters engagements while well, the moat and drawbridge allows for unique players movements opportunities in this mid-sized map Now personally this map looks pretty cool It takes place kind of like in a medieval type like you know era stuff like that Also it says that there's gonna be like a bridge that you can like press a button to and like the bridge will come down stuff like that So that'll definitely be pretty cool for people to like race to the bridge press a button down And then like a bridge will fall and then everyone can kind of attack from each other Like that'll probably like be like the B flag something like that in domination I could expect that to be happening so the second map we have here is called Micro. This map looks definitely pretty cool, pretty vibrant, stuff like that. But the first thing that came to my mind is Call of Duty Then and Call of Duty Now. And just Call of Duty Now is just like, come on, what are these DLC maps going? So I want to first read you guys kind of like a quick description of this map. It's a cool map. I will, I'll give them that, but at the same time, it's like really, is this like a war zone type map? So it, this is what it says. What's better than a barbecue on a hot summer day? And it says a war zone that takes place on a well-stocked family picnic table. Like... That is pretty much the description of this map. It's a picnic table as a map. And it's pretty much like huge cheeseburgers that are like the size of a building. And you'll be like a minuscule little ant to it. It's a cool map. It's a cool idea. But the first thing, like I said before, is Call of Duty now, Call of Duty then. It's kind of weird to think, you know, people are like shooting each other on a really vibrant kind of pink map. Stuff like that. So for the third DLC map coming to the Black Ops 3 DLC, we are going to actually have Standoff from Black Ops 2 coming back into Black Ops 3 as a DLC form. And I'm very excited for this map to come back. And honestly, it looks like a cool map, but I know for a fact it's not going to have the same feeling as Standoff from Black Ops 2. Because when they remake DLC maps, it's just kind of like, yeah, it's a cool map. Like, Empire felt really cool to me for like the first couple days. But then I kind of got the feeling of that, yeah, this isn't the same feeling as Raid from Black Ops 2. But either way, I'll give them credit for coming out with this map. It's a cool map. It's called Outlaw, and this is kind of like the little definition, too. It says, gear up for a showdown in Outlaw, a Western-style reimagining of the fan-favorite map standoff from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. That's pretty much all it says. It's going to be kind of like a Western-type style type map. And obviously, as you guys can see by the picture, it looks obviously very similar to the kind of Black Ops 2 version of standoff. So for the fourth and final DLC map of DLC 4, this is called Rupture, and apparently Apparently, it's the Call of Duty World at War Classic, and it says the outskirts is a reimagined as a high-tech 
high-tech facility designed by a futuristic society desperate to repair the Earth's atmosphere. This map looks obviously cool again, but I don't know what it is, you guys, but DLC really doesn't have me hyped as far as for multiplayer. The most thing that I'm hyped for is DLC 4 is definitely the, like, the zombies because I, if you guys did not know, you actually have to complete all of the Easter eggs to actually complete the DLC 4 Easter egg, and that is going to be pretty epic because obviously you know you have to be pretty good to complete that Easter egg for DLC 4. But the zombies map looks pretty cool. I will be linking that down in the description as well with the multiplayer stuff. So all of that will be down in the description. Check that out, you guys. That is pretty much going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for all watching. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure you guys drop a like. And also let me know if you guys want to see some vlogs with this sexy camera because obviously... The goddamn quality looks super good. But you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys for all watching. And peace out, you guys.